Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Sid Meier's Civilization VI in our Warrior of the Nile series. So we are doing really quite well against uh, Cleopatra. One thing I'm going to do to start off this episode, I'm actually going to go ahead and buy an Apostle because Carthage wants a religious conversion. And we just got Carthage, which gives us access to a ton of additional trade routes, which we're going to take advantage of this episode. Uh, but if we get the religious conversion, we'll get an additional envoy with them and really cement our hold over Carthage. Because I imagine Cleopatra is probably going to fight us pretty hard since we took that away from her. All right, this is our new trader in Meroe, and we are definitely going to do some external trade routes, for instance, with Preslav. Now, does Preslav have a quest for us? No, they don't, unfortunately. So we could trade with Preslav and just get a lot of extra production and gold out right there. Uh, we could trade... Well, actually, Memphis might even be a better trade route than that because of the extra food. Maybe that would be better. Let's go ahead and trade with Memphis because that'll help that city grow a little faster. And then we're going to send this Inquisitor to Buin to cleanse the area of other religions. We still don't have anything to do with our great artist there. That great admiral is going to stay put. And we are continuing to... Oh yeah, no, this, uh, this battleship is actually promotable, so we need to do that soon. But they're getting a good amount of experience. Or maybe not. <laughs> Didn't get any experience that time from fighting those barbarians. And I'm, I'm going to send... Whoa, hello. Just selected something else entirely. This is our apostle that's on the way up here to convert these cities. Okay. It's not going to convert them just yet, but we're working on it. Now, our archaeologist, I think, doesn't have anything left to go for unless we go over here, which I can do. Let's go ahead and send them over there, and hopefully Egypt won't beat us to that. I imagine they've already seen it. It's pretty close to their territory. Got some cattle there we need to improve, and yeah, let's ride down here with a knight and see what we can discover. We need to find some additional Egyptian cities, if possible. All right, this ironclad is um, upgradable, which we're going to need to do as soon as possible. Need to move them down here to see what else is on this coastline. We're almost done kind of uncovering the world, and we're going to be able to launch the satellite pretty soon and do even better with that. Yeah, let's just come down there. We need to improve. We need as much production for the city as possible. Once we're done with this aqueduct, uh, we, we're going to start building a harbor, which will allow the city to trade. Uh, no, Alexander. I need to go ahead and settle a city near this jade. I think we have a settler. We were going to put a settler up here, and I might have another settler training somewhere. I don't just yet. I, You know what? Maybe, maybe it is time to go ahead and put a city here, maybe. That would be a pretty good spot. Or should I put it right on top of the jade? If I put it here, we could have a really, really good district there. It would be insane if we had a district there. Um, yeah, let's let's put the settler there instead. We're going to have another city there soon enough. I think I actually have another production opportunity right now. I'm going to use that for a trader, because again, we need to build as many traders as we can, as quickly as we can. Yep, every possible trade, uh, every possible opportunity we're going to use. All right, so, yep, let's go for bombardment with the battleship. Spread religion again. Okay, Baki has officially been converted to Amun. We have additional gold from that. This apostle is promotable. Can convert all ad adjacent barbarians to your side by using a religious charge. Hmm. I really don't want that. But I suppose if that's the option that we have, we'll go for it. Alright, this destroyer, I'm just going to keep bringing through my territory. Because we're using them to scout. Well, we don't have anything else to do with them. Ah, some religious influence here that I need to cleanse in Bugdam Bush. I'm going to keep skipping that one's turn. All right, now, Dungail has been trading with Meroe for a while. I don't really... Well, actually, it does still need to trade with Meroe because it doesn't have a lot of food production. So, really, anything to keep the food production up. Is there anything that would be similarly good for it? I mean, we could trade with Memphis and get a lot more gold per turn. Wouldn't be as much in the way of food production, but... Yeah, I think I'd rather go for that. Let's trade with Memphis. All these trade routes with Cleopatra, if I go to war with her, will of course <laughs> be dissolved. So that'll be a little dicey. Yep, skip turn. We're going to improve those woods there, and this aqueduct will be almost done. 
Let's take a quick look at the victory progress just to make sure no one's getting away from us. Yeah, Cleopatra is making progress, but... We have a lot of domestic tourists, so we are basically... As long as we keep this number growing, and we're doing that by establishing international trade routes as well, I think we'll be okay. All right, I could purchase a trader outright in He, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just build one. And then where else? Pazirik could probably use an international trade route. Let's purchase a trader. All of my cities that are going to have spaceports, I definitely want to have those international trade routes set up. We're going to buy up an armory outright there in Bogdan Bush. And then what do we need to do here? Another trader? Yep, let's just do that. Keep building them up. And then this apostle, <laughs> look at that little heart over the barbarian. Uh, that's a nice icon. I never saw that before. All right, so this apostle we're going to send over to Carthage. Because again, Carthage wants to be converted. It's going to take five turns, so they'll be there before you know it. Meanwhile, we definitely need to continue to build up this area. We might build another Nubian pyramid here, but then these two we can have as production-based tiles and help that city build a lot faster than it's currently building. I like the new Barbarian encampments. Um, they, they put these in a few patches ago, but they didn't make them naturally progress through the ages, so they would only they would only look appropriate for their age if they spawned in that age. But they fixed that in the most recent patch, so they just they look really cool. I'm glad they did that. Uh, Kawa, you have a lot of production tiles that you need to improve. Let's go ahead and do that. Production on both of those. It's going to take a second for me to get around to all that, but that's fine. All right, so this trader in Iken, do I really need you here anymore, or can I maybe put you... Maybe still have you producing food, but also have you... Yeah, I could have you trading with Memphis as well. You know what? Let's just do that. Yeah, lots of extra production. All right, now this trader does need to keep things internal, I think. Yep, keep trading with Meroway, just because the growth on shot is just so poor right now. Nice, we got some more gold from Siam. Now we need to find, so this, this spy has a new promotion, so they can already steal great works quite well. Time to complete all missions reduced by 25%, or if caught on a mission, have a much higher chance of escape. But yeah, let's do Ace Driver. I don't want to lose that spy. All right, and then we'll work towards these last couple of policies because we're pretty much done with the civics tree. And we still need to build additional traders, don't we? Are you done building everything else? Yes, you are. Let's go ahead and do... You know what? Meroway needs its spaceport. Meroway already has an external trade route to give additional production, so... I just think... Um, ooh. This is going to be a little tough. Because I can't get rid of the jungle or we'll lose a little bit of culture. Maybe this would be the best tile to... replace. Or this one, maybe. Let's Yeah, let's do this one. Because the spaceport will, will provide the city additional production. All right, Dangail, what do you need specifically? Campus, maybe? Aerodrome? Already have a theater square. Nope, another trader. Oh, and they can trade an archaeologist. That's good to know. Hang on, can I buy one? Tell you what. Let's buy a trader here. And you train an archaeologist. Definitely need that. All right, Pazirik, I want you to be trading with... Tell you what, trade with Alexandrupoli. It's going to bring in plenty of additional gold. Nubian Pyramid. And then we need to improve these two tiles for production purposes. Yep, improve for uranium. And we are finally going to eliminate these barbarians. We'll, be able to, we'll have to get a land unit over there to actually take the encampment. But that deals with that problem pretty handily. And we got some experience that time, too. Not bad.
All right, this destroyer is on its way over here to scout out some of the last fog of war. It's not going to be really necessary for these units to be out scouting for much longer because we've explored most of the of the coast now. Yeah, it's it's all internal tiles. So I think what I'm going to do instead is go ahead and bring this destroyer around here. We can use this canal city, which is pretty nice. All right, can I purchase that tile perhaps? Yes, I can. To improve that citrus. One turn away from that project being done. Thank God. So we can start finally start building a harbor in that city. Alright, let's cleanse Bogdan Bush. We need to keep building traders because we still have plenty of room for them. Which will just our, our gold income is about to be absolutely insane. Your intrepid reporter, Khaleesi, <laughs> discovered that Rome has progressed from the modern era to the atomic era. Good to know. All right, let's, yeah, let's definitely do another trader in for us. We need to build them everywhere we can. We have room for additional spies as well. That's good to know. Yeah, let's do a theater square here. Um, I could put one down here, and that would give cultural boosts to these two Nubian pyramids. Let's repair the power plant, and he can. And I could build a power plant, or a seaport for that matter. Let's build a seaport here, Kostromskaya. Can't quite buy the military academy yet, but we're getting there. I do need to train another settler soon-ish. Let's do a shipyard for the production. And then finally, ooh, yeah, you, you definitely need a harbor, don't you? Could you benefit from a builder first? Yeah, you would actually. Let's do a builder up here. Actually, no, they already have a builder. One just got trained. So let's do a harbor, put it right there, and then the builder needs to start improving these sheep and then go up there and improve these rice. Can I also buy that tile? Yes, I can. That'll help the city grow even faster too. Yes, harbor district right there. Excellent. Now if I put you on production focus, that uh, doesn't really help that much. We'll improve that citrus in the next turn. And then Cena, you were trading with Meraway. You can keep trading with Meraway if you want to keep growing. Or trade with a city like Memphis. Trade with Alexandrupoli. Or you know what? Let's trade with Arpinum. Let's get that going. Extra production and gold that way. And that way we have trade routes going with additional countries. I'm going to keep this battleship here until that area has been cleansed. All right, this is a brand new trader. I'm okay with it being... Yeah, let's go ahead and trade with Akhetaten. Why not? Uh, yep, still nothing to do with that particular great artist, unfortunately. All right, our new trader here can trade with Logdunum. So let's do that. We have additional connections that way. Trade with Memphis. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a mine down here. And that builder can go improve that tile next turn. And then it seems like, yeah, this could be a potential food tile for He. That's not in Hess territory, though. And it should be, because there's no other cities that have access to it. A little bit too far away. Weird. Hmm. Preslav? Yeah, Preslav. Very good. Extra production for Kala. Skip the Great Admiral's turn, and we have another... Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so we have all these new traders. It's insane. Yeah, Preslav. Just for the sheer gold income. We have 347 gold per turn now. And we can finally, now that we're starting to build our harbor, we can trade in Miam. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a trade route with Meraway just for the sheer food growth. Um, we've already got a lot of food-related buildings in that area, so that'll be good. All right, so this is our cat burglar. Do I have anywhere I can send you where we would actually... Yes, Shadet. Let's go ahead and... No great works to steal in Shadet, but let's go ahead and confirm placement anyway because we'll uncover some tiles by investigating Shadet. And let's... Speaking of Shadet, let's go ahead and move this ship further down. Actually, no, we can't see any farther onto land, unfortunately. So we need our satellite as soon as possible. We're building 
spaceports in three of our cities. How's the culture of victory looking? Uh, Cleopatra has found my spies. I'm just going to politely ignore her request. Culture victory. Yeah. We are definitely gaining on her and making it harder for win this harder to win this culture victory. So let's go for the nuclear program so we have access to every last civic as an option. Kasser Ibram has finished its builder. I can build a theater square here, but again, that would replace the one production tile there. Unless I were to buy that tile. Hang on. Let's take a quick look. Don't have quite enough gold. Of course we don't. Of course we're just short. Ugh. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and get... We need to build a Manhattan Project somewhere. Let's do one more observation balloon because we need to support both of our artillery. All right, now this spy... This agent is Tiberi. I wish I could see which spy it was. Hang on, Tiberi is... Is an agent. I don't remember what abilities Tiberi has, though. Let's just return on foot. Alright, so... Did evade capture. But failed. Yep. Alright, so we're going to improve both of these just for extra production. Skip that turn. You're going to come over there, give extra production to Kawa. We're waiting for a... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and move this great artist over to He. Or maybe to Bogdan Bush, because we have an apostle there. Let's take this apostle up to Kostromskaya, because it looks like there's some religious influence we need to cleanse. I'm going to keep you right there as planned. And we need to improve that wheat so that Baki can grow faster. Pokrovka can continue to trade, I think, with Meroe. I like the idea of that city continuing to grow rapidly. We're building Oxford University, and we're one turn away from being done. I forgot we were building that in Pokrovka, but we are. So that's going to help with our technology in a turn or so. Okay, citrus has been improved, and yeah, now there's a bunch of tiles that can help that city grow faster. Let's improve that cattle. We've actually got it, no, not cattle, but sheep. We can build a, a coastal resort there, but, um, and we might. That would be a good, a good uh, spot for a coastal resort, actually. Two additional builds. Yeah, we totally need that as a farm, and then that as a copper mine. And I think one of our bonuses as a mon as a hello. Oh, knock it off, Cleopatra. I really don't care what you think. I was trying to look at my bonuses. Yeah, mines over strategic resources provide plus one production. You know all there is yes. to be known, but they none of them know one half as much as intelligent Mr. Toad. <laughs> okay, so we now have Oxford University, which is going to give us a couple of free technologies to help get ahead of the curve at the end of the game here. I don't know what technologies we got, but we did definitely get a few. Rome is facing a siege. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what uh, technologies we got. That's a little frustrating. I'm going to go ahead and buy the uh, sewer so that shot can grow faster. Bought the sewer with faith there. And then we're going to go ahead and build a factory. It's going to take 10 turns. Now, you don't need much... Well, I can build the Estadio de Maracana here. Uh, it would take 33 turns. Uh, Meroe has more production, though, so it would be better to build it there. But I could be many, many more turns along if I started building it here. Let's just build it here. Let's just make this a wonder production city. And then maybe we'll put an additional unit in there. Maybe we'll put an additional uh, trader in there to help support the construction of that wonder. Or just maybe improve that stone. so that Pokrovka has a little bit of extra production. Okay, note to self, we have mechanized infantry now. Because we've completed... I think we got that from... Um, I'm pretty sure we got that from Oxford University. No complaints. Okay, got some additional upgrades to do at some point. But not yet. Okay, our settlers arrived here. Let's go ahead and found the city. That's going to be an awesome spot. Cannot wait. This is the city of Deba. Our first brand new city in a while. Let's go ahead and just buy a granary. And then can I do a monument too? Yes, I can. Awesome. So I could go ahead and do a harbor. 
as its first district. That would take a long time right now, but the city is growing. And if I can get a builder over there, this one has one charge left. I'm just going to go ahead and throw down a mine there for heck. But I need to get a builder up there. Ale Alexander, what are you doing? If you put a city there, I will literally kill you. Why would you put a city there? It doesn't make any sense. We're going to put a trader in, in Deba. For obvious reasons. I need that city to grow as rapidly as possible. Man, if Alexander puts another city there, we might go to war with him in the next turn just out of spite. I'm telling you that <laughs> the AI in Civ 6 just like forward settling for no good reason. Oh look, a little sliver of land next to this giant nation that's probably going to win the game. I should put a city here. What 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 kind of decision is that? It doesn't make any sense. All right, we're heading over there to get that particular antiquity. Yeah, I need to get a builder up to Deba. What do we have here? Enemy spy captured. Macedonian spy was trying to sabotage production in the city of Akem. Serves you right. So that's one Macedonian spy that won't be troubling us anymore, and he will not be trading for the release of that spy. Uh, I can go for... let's see. Yeah, we got a, a lot of nice text from that. Let's go for composite so we have access to nanotechnology. And then... I can go ahead and finish the encampment here now that everything else is repaired in Akem. It's only taken forever and a day. Trade with Meroe, please, for reasons we've discussed multiple times throughout the series. Yep, extra production there. And in three turns, we're going to be able to use... Well, not just yet. We're going to have to buy some additional buildings, but we're going to be able to have additional slots for her great works of art. All right, let's start working on Carthage so we can convert that city-state. This ironclad needs a promotion. Let me go ahead and just send them straight this direction. Next turn. Okay, Kostromskaya has been reconverted. Up. Oh. Enemy spy was killed, but it looks like he can... Okay, so someone still managed to sabotage the production. That's really annoying. I'm trying to finish that freaking encampment, and they keep wrecking everything else. 24 gold per turn for 30 turns for uranium and horses, and they're going to open their borders. Okay. As long as you don't nuke me with that uranium, we're good. All right, let's go for future civic. We're done with the civics tree officially. All right, now Faras can trade or can build a couple of different things. I could do an encampment for some extra production. Go ahead and throw that down. Let's put it there. Industrial zone, maybe, in Dungio. Put it on top of the stone. Or on top of the cattle here. Or here. Yeah, let's put it here. That'll be done in nine turns. Cena can build a university. Or a theater square, for that matter. Yeah, let's put a theater square down here. Can buy a shrine outright. Can I buy a temple, though? Nope, but I can build one. So let's do that. And then this spy needs to counter-spy. Where did I have you? Yep, let's put you there. We need to protect the uh, industrial zone as well in that other city of ours. Let's continue to spread our religion here because it looks like we still need a little bit of help with that. Speaking of that, can I train an apostle? Not just yet. They're, they're getting a little bit more expensive. Or not an apostle, but an inquisitor because I've trained so many of them. Was I looking at the wrong unit? I was. Yeah, train an inquisitor. That's what I wanted. I was thinking apostle, but I need an inquisitor up here to cleanse those particular cities. All right, new trader in Faras. I probably need to put you... No, 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 no. What, what are you doing, game? There we go. Let's put you up here in Wadbanaka. All right, we're working on converting uh, Carthage, but it's taking a little bit of effort. This builder, you know what? I'm going to send them straight up to Deba because we need the jade and we need the sheep. It's going to take about nine turns to get them there, but uh, it'll be worth it. All right, so this great admiral is still just hanging out. We have this um, archaeologist. 
Rome's borders are open to us now, so I'm going to go ahead and send my archaeologists into Rome's territory. <laughs> and have a lot of fun with that. Let's move you down here. Is that tile in my territory? Should be. There we go. Or in that city's territory is what I meant to say. All right, so this is our great works. This is our cat burglar, basically. So we can gain sources here. Or I can see if there's an additional city that I can visit, like Thebes. Yep, let's go to Thebes and start stealing great works from Cleopatra. <laughs> At long last. Meanwhile, you know, we've got four builds left with this builder. Let's go up and improve both of those rice tiles. Solib's going to be a pretty... It's going to be a pretty productive city pretty quickly. This city's already pretty big as well, thanks to all the wheat tiles. There's even one more wheat tile we can add. Uh, no, Cleopatra. Okay, we're moving into turn 373, 1952 or 53, yeah, 52 AD. Uh, it looks like, um, heh, needs some additional housing to continue to grow effectively, but I can fix that pretty handily, I think. Oh, no, I can't. But I can go ahead and start on an amphitheater here so that we can have a place for these great works of art. Or soon, as soon as we get like an art museum, for instance. But I'm going to stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to continue building up our economy, probably moving towards a cultural victory. I would like to have some additional warfare before the end of this. Um, so we're probably going to do what we can to make that happen as well. But we need to finish these spaceports and get some of that stuff in order first. The Estadio de Marcana is building in Pokrovka, so our amenities shouldn't be an issue at all. They haven't been an issue for the entire series, but they'll be even better going forward. I'm looking forward to looking like a nice, strong finish for this first run with um, with the Monitor or Monitori uh, here. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at noon Eastern time, along with the rest of my historical and grand strategy content. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.